hello my dear students hope all of you are fine and also going through your regular work properly due to covid 19 we are not conducting our classes and now it has become regular but still in this time we are doing our regular works how far we can do and we also hope that our students that means you are also doing your all works properly welcome you all to our uh, online class of milestone college this is me shushmita chakraborty from sector 13 and today i am going to conduct a class on dialogue writing your classwork number will be 61 so please follow this classwork number before going to discuss about today's topic, I would ask you some questions from our previous lesson. So let's go and see what is there. So now I will ask you some questions from previous lesson. You can see here what is written on the screen. C. Place the correct punctuation marks in the following passage. So, what will you do? You will have to understand where you will put the punctuation marks, and according to this, you will have to place the punctuation marks in the correct place. Okay, now see, here is a passage. Mary asked, what time is it now? I don't know, said Bill, hearing this. Mary was asking to her friend. She said, it's 9 o'clock. Mary said, oh no, it can't be right. She also said that she was late again. Can you understand anything if there would have no pauses, no uh, lines where you will give your expressions? Will it be a suitable one? Will it be an acceptable person? No. So, we must have to use the punctuations here. Okay. So, see, the answer has also been given. I hope you won't have any problem here. I have given the solution also. And I also hope that you know this answer. Still, I have given the answer here. So, see here, Mary asked, what time is it now? And what it, uh, where it will be? It will be inside the quotation mark because it has been told by Mary, okay? While we will share about anyone saying as he said or as she said, that time it will be inside quotation mark. And as it is an interrogative sentence, that's why it has been closed with a interrogative sign, okay? That is a question mark with, an, with a question mark. I don't know, said B. So another quotation mark is here. Because it is a saying of Bill. Hearing this, comma, Mary was asking the time to her friend. Full stop. Because this is the line has been ended here. Now see, um, she said, comma, it's 9 o'clock. Again, it is inside quotation mark. And it has been ended with a full stop. Mary said, oh, no. Here is the exclamation sign. Because we know that when we will see any kind of depression, any kind of uh, distress feeling, any kind of feeling of surprise, uh, that time we will share what? Yes, exclamation sign. So that's why it has been written what Mary said. Oh, no, exclamation sign. Then it can't be right. Full stop. She also said that she was late again. So the thing is that, by this thing, you have understood how you will have to put the correct pronunciation marks. And if you do, if you cannot do it, you will not get the marks. And if you, even you cannot understand the passage, you cannot uh, make sure that you have understood the thing. So uh, I hope you won't have any problem here. We can move to our next lesson. See. As I have already told about today's topic, that is dialogue writing. So I hope you won't have any problem to recognize the topic. Okay. And we, you have already read dialogue for so many times. So that's why I am going to the topic. 
directly. Do you know what is the uh, dialogue? Yes, I hope all of you know. Still, I am telling this. Dialogue is conversation between two or more characters. So, how many characters will be there? Two or more characters. In regular dialogue, there can be two or more characters. While so many people will talk together, that can also be talked as dialogue or conversation. Dialogue is when a character speaks to another character. Okay. So, dialogue is conversation. So, see here, one is talking to another. What is dialogue? In very simple terms, a dialogue is a conversation between two or more people. See here, like, hi, hello, or something will be expressed. But, you know that in our exam, we get, a, get an item, namely, dialogue writing. Isn't it? Yes, we get. Here, you will not place more than two per characters or more than two persons. We will have to share two persons conversation in our writing. Okay. And only then we will get the marks. Otherwise, we will not get the mark. So, see I have given an example here to understand the thing. As I have told, while we will write anything, we will share two speakers there. See here, speaker 1, speaker 2. You must write down name. If it is about you and with your friend, that time you will write myself and you will write your friend's name. But here I have given speaker 1, speaker 2. See here, good morning. That is a greeting. Okay, we always start with a greeting. Good morning. How are you? Speaker 2. I'm fine. And you? Speaker 1. I'm fine. Or I'm not fine. Whatever it is. I need to talk to you about a serious matter. Do you have some time for me? Speaker 2. Obviously. Or of course. Whatever you wish you can write. I'm always ready to help you. By all means. Okay. That means in all ways. Please tell me about your worries. Speaker 1. Could you please tell me the importance of digestion? Whatever the topic is. Okay. Whatever the topic is. it I have kept it blank. According to the subject, it will be changed. If it is about tree plantation, that time another speaker will talk about tree plantation, what to do, how to uh, do, or uh, in which time is better to do. All things will be said. If it is about environment pollution, that time it will be we agree about how, why does it happen, what should not be done, how should we keep our uh, environment a good one. So these way things will be described. And we will have to explain the things this way. Things will be very much close. Things will be very much relevant. Okay. So in this way, conversation will be will gradually develop. Now see speaker 2 will say something then uh, at the it will come to the end portion then thank you very much I have learned many things from you then speaker 2 I have to go now goodbye then another one goodbye nice to meet you see you again. So this way we will show the closing okay. So uh, I hope you won't have any problem here also so let's go what are there in the next? There are some rules. While you will go for dialogue writing, you must have to go through some rules that uh, you will follow during writing. So see, start a new paragraph each time a new person speaks. So whenever you will start a new paragraph, every time a new person will speak. That means if there are two speakers, all those speakers will talk in new paragraphs. Such as speaker 1 has said something, then speaker 2. Then again speaker 1, then again speaker 2. So the thing is that it will not be only one will say. Okay. So each time, each new person. Those who will be the performer. Then make sure readers know who is talking. Such as I am checking your copy, I am reading your dialogue writing, uh, the written dialogue. That time, 
I must have to understand about whom you are talking. Okay, or about whom you have written in your copy. Who are talking there? The reader should know about this thing. Okay, it should understand by your writing. Now go for the next thing. Give a balanced mix of action and talking. Such as, here see, I am only the one who is only speaking, who is talking, who is saying everything. Okay, no one is else. Can you talk here? Can you say anything here? No, you are not saying anything here. But I am the one who is only saying here. Who is speaking here? Uh, who is telling something about you? Or so that you can hear me. But it is not a dialogue. While all the performers will talk there and that time it will be a conversation. Otherwise not. While one will be talking only with himself or herself or uh, in her own way, that time it will be monologue. It can be dialogue. Okay. At least two persons are needed for the formation of dialogue. Let all characters have equal say. That means if there are two uh, characters, all will talk there and all will have some equal saying. That is, I am saying something. Another one, oh, another one will also express his saying there. The ratios, the way of talking, the proportion of talking will be quite equal. Okay. Try and resolve the discussion by the end of the page. Such as you have, that is uh, not actually you, that means a dialogue has been started about two persons. Okay. Within uh, two persons, that time, while it will be, it will go in the end, by this time, there will have a discussion and the solution must have come through this okay so there will have no more confusions it will end it with a good resolution with a good solution so i hope you won't have here also any problem so let's go for the next things to maintain during writing a dialogue which thing you will mind maintain these are the things that I am going to discuss. See, subject. You must have a subject while you will be, uh, while you will write anything. You will develop a topic on a certain subject. Okay, so dialogue will be followed by the subject. Such as you have been told to write about coronavirus. At that time, you will start writing about hepatitis B. Or you have started writing about jaundice. That time it will not be according to the subject. Okay. That time it, it will break the subject line, topic line. So the subject line should be followed. Should be followed and should be maintained while you are writing this. Now the next thing says a speaker and a speech. What? A speaker and a speech. While you are writing, there must have a speaker and there must have a speech of those speakers in your writing. In dialogue, the name of a speaker and a speech are separated using colon. And a speaker and a speech will be separated using colon. For instance, that is for example, see here, Adib. Hi, good morning. So, Adib is a speaker and his speech is hi good morning but all these things have not been written together it has been separated using a colon okay using a colon Ryan hello good morning too how are you so see here it has also been separated using a colon so you'll have to understand where you will put a colon sign okay now see things to maintain during writing a dialogue Introduction part. Introductory portion is started with greetings word like hi, hello, good morning and good evening. So while you will start a dialogue, you must have to give the introduction. You will have to give the greetings like hi, hello, good morning, good evening. All these things will be there. Okay. Then see. Situational expressions. 
so according to the situation our expressions will be changed okay our greetings will be changed we have already got to know that we will have to greet in the beginning but according to the situation greetings will be changed now see expression in greeting like good morning then response will be what good morning happy birthday to you if it is about like a uh, birthday that time happy birthday to you that time response will be thank you then see expression on farewell if you are going to beat someone if you are going to say bye someone how will you if you are going to uh, go, uh, go for farewell give farewell to someone that time what will be your expression see good night good night response will also be good night goodbye then okay bye see you again so this way we will response we will express our expressions on farewell then see expressions on attracting others attention what expressions on attracting others attention towards us like excuse me sometimes we say this isn't it yes so response will be what response will be yes or yes what can i do for you so this way the expression will be there okay now see expression on asking for permission or anything expression on such as you are going to ask for any permission that time what will be your expression okay see here can or may i or could you tell me the time please that time what will be the response oh sure why not sorry i cannot do this or oh no so these way we give the reason okay we give the reason sorry so that time you will also have to say the reason if it is if you are going to say no or something like that that time you also have to give the reason expression and appreciation that means someone has done something good you will have to uh, express the appreciation you will have to express appreciation you will have to praise like very good then the response will be automatically thank you what a good good idea thanks a lot that time you're welcome so expressions will be like what a good idea thanks a lot you are welcome so according to the or you are not saying anything that time it will not be a good one okay good expression now see contraction while you will write dialogue you can go for contraction that we actually don't allow in other writing in other writing we say that don't go for contraction but in dialogue writing uh, contraction is allowed like we will contract the thing we will make the thing what smaller using using that contraction okay like are not aren't cannot can't could not couldn't did not didn't does not doesn't then see here is not isn't then let us let's must not mustn't then shall not shan't she had said so this way we will use the things has not happened so in this way you will express see so many are here okay so many are here you can see so many are here so the same way you will follow here our end can't couldn't didn't doesn't don't hadn't hasn't haven't hit isn't less mightn't mustn't uh shan't should should so this way you will express your expressions with the contraction during dialogue writing now see some other things to maintain during writing a dialogue okay so what would what will be there see sentences will be short clear and vivid that means things will be very much clear what you want to say it there will have no more confusions it will be very much clear to the reader 
okay it will be very much short not very much short it will not be very bigger okay that you are writing 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 so try to complete the sentence within um, short sentences so that it will not create much confusion the language will be easy simple natural and spontaneous the language should not be something that it will be so much confusing okay so your language should be easy simple that is direct and as it is natural it will not be artificial it will not look like that yes you are trying to borrow something from somewhere else rather it will be spontaneous lively it will not be dull it will not be monotonous it will be very lively and it will be very it will go fluently in a very lively mood okay the writing will not make the reader monotonous boring now see speakers will express their expressions with logic that means sometimes you will get that what are the reasons of doing this that time another speaker will have to give the logic okay the expressions should be given or should be expressed with some logic to make another speaker sure of it to convince expressions will be sequentially and logically ordered that means uh, you are writing about something all on a sudden you have started talking about some other portion other thing that time it will not be sequentially ordered you can't write one four three six seven eight this way it will not go sequentially mental men uh, maintained writing so they that will have a maintenance good maintenance like one then three then five then seven then nine so there will have a rhythmic way by which you will write okay that means it will not be chaos it will not create any chaos in writing it will be very much rhythmic so it will be sequentially and logically or ordered it will go in order repetition should be avoided in writing such as you are writing the same line again and again it is harmful it is harmful it is harmful in every line you are uh, in every par paragraph you are writing the same thing so it, that time it, uh, the reader will be will feel bad about this and you will not get a good mark there so repetition should be avoided even if you are not writing for any exam or something like that even that the, if you are writing anything related to this the if the reader reads it he will feel bad or monotonous so repetition should be avoided punctuation marks should be used accurately so as i have just told that we must need to know where we will place the punctuation marks otherwise our expressions will not be expressed properly so the punctuation marks should be used accurately dialogue should be should be with proper introduction and closing so while you will close it or while you will start it must have a good introduction and must have a good closing now say write a dialogue between two friends about gardening and its benefits a dialogue between two friends about gardening and its benefits you must write down the headline myself good morning tanim tanim good morning how are you myself i'm fine tanim i have come to visit your garden in the early morning myself oh sure let's go tanim i know that gardening is your hobby how is it good for you so see he is asking something myself it's good in different ways now i will logically discuss about it now we can take a fresh air besides working in the garden is a form of physical exercise so he is telling something more and more about this who about it is me that i am telling to my friend about the things okay then tanim and next myself i grow different flowers they give me pleasure take these flowers carry them home tanim really you are great myself i give flowers to all my friends when they come to see the garden tanim how do your parents feel 
myself. They are very happy. Stunning. Really? It has made your house look very beautiful. Myself. You can make a garden too. Stunning. Thanks for your idea. Myself. Welcome. I have to go now. See you later. So, see here. We get the great greetings. Then we have seen that uh, on a particular subject they are talking. They are logically making the order. Why it is. Uh, how it is good. Okay. So, all these things are logically discussed here. So, see then next. It has also got a good introduction and closing also. So, while you will write, you must have to go through all the uh, maintaining all these procedures for getting a good one. Now, I will ask you some questions from here. I hope all of you can give me the answers very well. What is dialogue? Yes, dialogue is a conversation between two or more people. Okay. But in our writing, we will play two person. Okay. How many characters will perform in written form of dialogue? According to our uh, text, the way we will follow in our exam, we will show two characters. Okay, so how many characters will perform? Two characters will perform in written form of dialogue. In written form of dialogue. In our exam, not everywhere. Do we do contraction during dialogue writing? Yes, we can do contraction during dialogue writing. Okay, like aren't, are not, can, can't, cannot, hasn't, has not. So, all these are contractions. Now, see another question. Which things should be maintained during dialogue writing? That I have already told that we must have to uh, write it in simple language. Each uh, paragraph will be started with new person saying. All will uh, participate there equally. There will have a balanced action. So, and uh, so uh, there will have a good order of writing. Things will be relevant, subject matter will be developed, expressions will be given according to the uh, situation. So, all these things should be maintained during dialogue writing. Okay. So, uh, you have already watched this class, and by this time, I hope. You haven't faced any problem. Still, if you have any kind of confusion, please talk to your subject teacher. You must write down this um, dialogue in your classwork copy. Okay, the dialogue that we have discussed, you will only write this dialogue. Okay, and then see what is your homework. Your homework is. Write a dialogue between two friends about gardening and its benefits. You have already, uh, you will already all also write in your classwork copy, also in your homework copy. Okay, and also learn. Your subject teacher will ask this question in the Zoom class. So, learn this class properly. Learn this lesson properly. Go through the class properly. That's all for today. Hope. Uh, all of you will be fine by this time by the grace of Allah and try to always maintain all the hygiene rules because though we are not in the school premise but we are getting we are going through this time we are uh, coping up with this time so uh, hope all of you will be fine that's all for today thank you all for keeping your patience and for watching these classes. Those who are watching these classes, we are really feel happy for them. That's all for today. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.